Hello guys, my name is Peter, I'm 22 years old, and I live in Belarus. Today I will try to explain the five most important synthesizer modules, oscillator, filter, amplifier, envelope, and low frequency oscillator. Let's start from an oscillator. When we press the key on our keyboard, we will hear a single note. And we are hearing the oscillator working. Synthesizers can generate a lot of different waveforms, but the most common are sine, square, triangle, and sawtooth. Sometimes of waveforms can sound very harshly, so that's why we move to a next section, a filter section. Now our filter is pretty much an equalizer. For example, if our square wave is sounding too bright, we will use a high shell filter or a low pass filter. Just like working with audio. Next, we move to our amplifier section. Now, this section has a four very important parameters to it. Attack, decay, sustain, and release. And those parameters are forming an envelope. Let's take a closer look to those parameters. Attack time is the time taken for initial run-up of level from kneel to peak, beginning when the key is first pressed. Decay time is the time taken for the subsequent rundown from the attack level to the designated sustain level. Sustain level is the level during the main sequence of the sound's duration until the key is released. And release time is the time taken for the level to decay from the sustaining level to zero after the key is released. And finally, we move to our LFO, the Low Frequency Oscillator. We cannot hear the work of LFO itself. But what we can hear is an impact on a sense parameter which could be anything. For example, it could be a volume to create a tremolo effect, or we can control the pitch with an LFO for the vibrato effect. Okay, that's it for today's lesson. Unfortunately, I will not see you next week. But it was really fun to study with you guys, and I hope we will all become a good sound engineers.